No matter which trimester of pregnancy you're in, you are definitely gonna feel the benefits of these stretches to help minimize aches, pains, muscle tightness during your pregnancy. So find a comfortable space on the floor or even in your bed, and let's start these full body prenatal stretches. I'd like you to start in a seated position and we're just gonna gently extend our legs out. Give those legs a little temper tantrum here. I want you to open up your chest. So bring those hands back behind you. And you should be feeling a stretch all the way down your legs. Good. And we're gonna come to a 90-90 position. I love this one for opening up our hips. Hips get tight in pregnancy. Hands back behind you. And what you're gonna do is try, you're gonna move those knees to the other direction. Try to keep those feet to the floor. So the inside and the outside of each of your foot. Go at your own pace. It doesn't have to be this quick. Go to where it feels good in your body. Now let's add on a little reach for it. You're going to reach in the opposite direction. Nice inhale here. And as those knees go to the left, you're gonna reach to the left with your right arm. Depending on your ability, if you'd like to get a deeper stretch, you can place your forearm down on the ground and do that stretch as well. Play around with it. You can bring that arm up overhead to feel that stretch all in your side back body. Right, anything goes for this and where you feel you need it today, right? Every day is gonna feel a little bit different. Let's go one more time to each side. And I want you to come to all fours. So placing your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And we're gonna do a little wag the dog. So I like to think a dog has a tail, right? I want you to shift your hips to the right, to the left. And you might feel a little bit of stretch in your side ribs, but you'll also feel that in your hips. Now, let's change this so that we come down to all fours. Again, wagging the dog. If you need a little bit more, what I'd like you to do is take the hands and you're gonna walk it up to the left. And once you're there to a comfortable spot, I want you to stay and inhale. And exhale. On that inhale, really fill up the belly. Exhale, the belly softens. Let's go one more breath. And let's walk it out over to the right. Nice inhale here again. Remember on the inhale, you're expanding the belly. Filling up your whole abdomen with air. Last one. Let's come back to our all fours position. I want you to extend your arms out into child's pose and walk those hands or slide those hands over to the left. Now, think about really sitting back into the right hip. So I'm hands to the left, my hips trying to hit to the right. Almost like I'm trying to be pulled with my hands forward and my hips backwards. Now let's walk it back over to the right or slide those hands, really pushing towards the right and then sending that left hip back. As far as you can, obviously making room for baby. Nice inhale, belly expands in that relaxation breath. And let's come back up to your palms, back to all fours. Let's 
do a little inner thigh stretch. I'm gonna extend my right leg out and I'm going to sit back onto the left heel. Showing you from the side, sit back and forward. So really stretching out that inner thigh of that left leg. If you want, you can place this foot flat on the floor. Personally, I like to have my toes curled under. I feel I need that support. And facing back towards you, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our left hand, so right legs out, left hand, you're gonna thread it under, look towards the right. You should feel a great stretch in your back. Inhale here. And let's open. When you take that left hand, you're gonna place it down, look towards the right. Now we have a chest stretch happening. Maybe you'll feel that stretch happening in the biceps too. And let's come back and thread that needle. And open up. Now, if while you're doing this, you're feeling like, okay, I don't really need, or I don't want this much stretch, in that right leg, you can come here. Let's go other side. Left leg is out and rocking back and forward. <sighs> and just breathing through it. And then we're gonna take our right arm Thread that right arm to the left. Take a nice breath. And bring it out, place it on the floor. Still looking to the left, feeling that chest, maybe in that bicep. Play around with the placement of the arms too. If you want it up to the side. And let's thread that arm again. last stretch we're gonna come on to a side lying position so let's come down and let's bring your knees up to 90 degrees and let's plant both hands so my left hand is on top of my right hand and I'm going to slide that top hand all the way across your chest to the other side you're gonna follow that hand with your head with your eyes opening up our chest here Again, nice deep breaths. And we're gonna keep the arms straight and we're gonna bring it back to where we started. Same thing. Slide it all the way up the hand across your chest. You can stay here for as many breaths as you would like. The thing with stretching, we don't wanna go too quickly, right? We wanna, we do wanna hang out and breathe into it. That's where we're gonna feel the most benefits from the stretch. If you feel like you need to place your hand, the bottom hand on your knees to kind of keep them down, you can. Let's go one more time on this side. Hmm. I hope you feel really relaxed and I hope you feel good. Let's switch sides nice and slowly. taking note of how you feel in your body. Do you feel that you feel more tension in one side than another? If so, probably a sign that you should do the stretch more on that one side. Again, if you feel like you need to keep those knees down, place that bottom hand there. Let's go two more times here.
Nice job. Ladies, I hope you are feeling good after these stretches. Feel free to come back as many times as you want in a week or do these stretches on your own. Pick and choose a couple that you really like and you can do them to start your day or to end your day. And ladies, if you want to help prevent the swelling of your lower half, the legs, your calf muscles, make sure to check out this popular video here to learn and to do some stretches with me to reduce some of those lower body, leg and feet swelling. I'll see you in the next video.